question one. Put these times in order, starting with the shortest. Now, the first thing you'll notice is they're not all in the same format. So we've got five minutes and one minute. Then we've got 20 seconds and 100 seconds. Now, the easiest thing to do here is turn them all into seconds. Then it'll be easy to compare. So, one minute straight away we can turn to seconds. That's 60 seconds. So already we've got three of them in seconds. If we can just turn this one into seconds, we've got them all in seconds. So one minute's got 60 seconds, so five minutes gonna have five lots of 60. Quick column method at the side, in case you can't do it in your head. Five nothings are still nothing. Five sixes are 30. So five lots of 60 is 300. You could also have said that five sixes are 30, but put the zero on the end. So it's 300 seconds. Now they're all in seconds, easy to compare. So the shortest one of the lot is going to be 20 seconds. So you've got 20 seconds, cross it off. Now we've got 60, 100, so 60 is the next one. Now instead of writing 60 seconds, I really need to write what the original thing was, which is one minute. So we write one minute next. Now we've got 300 seconds and 100 seconds. So 100 seconds is the next shortest. That's that one done. There's only one left. These are 300 seconds. But remember, we write the original one, so we're going to write five minutes. And that's question one done. But the, the advice there really was just to turn them all into seconds to make it easier to compare.